Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about pirate games I found for Java. Pirates of the Seven Seas is a game made by Gameloft, and you can see the quality in the gameplay. The style of the game is like a Prince of Persia game on Java. It's that type of flashy platforming that feels epic from start to finish, so imagine that this is Prince of Persia quality, but with pirates. The combat and platforming feel great, in between you get some surfing levels, I don't know why, but hey, you get something different. You also fight giant monsters, which is actually the boss battle in the game. I mean, you don't get just one boss battle, but this giant snake is the boss enemy. He gets in your way multiple times, and it's a bummer that the game doesn't have those great, flashy and epic boss battles Prince of Persia has. But in rest, in the gameplay department, the game is nice and it takes you around 1 hour to finish the game. Pirate's Fortune is a Tetris game, and I think the video is self-explanatory on what the game is and how it works and plays. So yeah, I'm not gonna insist on reviewing this one. It's enjoyable if you're into this type of games. So, if it looks nice to you, try it. Fire Emblem Pirates of the Caribbean is decent, but if you're expecting an experience that gets even remotely close to what you're used to on console, forget it. The game is just a reminiscence of the original games, but hey, at least you get some basic turn-based combat, it doesn't have the depth of the bigger version of course, but it's still enjoyable to play. You get some sandbox areas and you get a plot that ties everything together, even if the game isn't really something, I can't call it bad either. Air Pirates of God Church is a Chinese game. The title must be Google translated because one, it doesn't make sense except for pirates and air because the game takes place in flying pirate ships. But yeah, the, the only thing that really ties down to the title is pirates and maybe air because the character has many air attacks but anyway ignore the word title because the game has a big production value and is fun to play it has some smooth animations the game is good looking and the gameplay is incredible each attack feels satisfying you can unlock more attacks and upgrade your character the game is awesome pirates ahoy is a turn-based sea battle game in my opinion, the game is boring because of its turn-based nature. The graphics, the animations and the hazards on the map would have made the game great if it was in real time. But instead, it's turn-based and seeing the ships turn and select the route, then wait for them to sail gets boring. Or maybe it's just me, I I'm not a big fan of turn-based games in general. Also, it's not that great that you get only one map to battle in. Overall, I found the game to be rather boring. Fire Emblem Fire vs Cannibals is the same story as with the other one, but this time the graphics are improved and you get a little more depth in combat. And there are plenty of animations in the game, and the animations and visuals look really good and are superior to the other one. In Rust, the gameplay is as fun as in the other one. Imagine that this game is the previous one but on a larger scale. Pirates Poker is boring, you can play only classic poker, with some really clunky controls, and by winning tournaments and matches you can unlock pictures with pirate ladies. I don't recommend you the game, it's clunky, boring, and there are better poker games on Java out there. Ok, so this was the first volume of pirate games I found for Java, stay tuned for the second one.